절대 뒤돌아보지 마. 앞만 봐. 저스틴, 고고나다, 굿모닝. 굿모닝, 굿모닝. 땡스 포 하빈 미. 바친코, 워드 앤 아메이징 시리즈. 콩그라쥬레이션, 젠틀맨. 풀 오브 에모션, 러브, 패밀리, 드라마. 이츠 저스트 아 스펙타큘러 시리즈. 콩그라쥬레이션. 땡큐. 앤 저스틴, 브링 더 노블 투더 스크린. 워드 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 But uh, I think Sue in her, her, her writer's room just did an incredible job of adapting the book and expanding upon the novel to make a compelling show. And Kokonata, this is about family legacies through the ages. Was it tricky organizing all the different timelines? You know, again, to go back to the script, I mean, it was in the, you know, the way that uh, the writers weaved the two timelines was, I think, for both of us, what was so compelling about the pilot is, um, you know, the, the book is linear, and then suddenly seeing this book, uh, you know, uh, adapted in this sort of nonlinear way uh, was really wonderful, and, there, and it really pays off. You know, I think when you get to episode four, I mean, that, that little, that timeline is suddenly paralleling and echoing each other, and it's, uh, you know, so, uh, just as a viewer, I was just so connected and, and uh, in these two worlds. So, um, you know, a lot of that is to the writing. And directing, it was, you know, it's a challenge, because you're constantly, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's a two different sets, two sets, yeah. different sets of actors. You know, it's a, it was a constant um, challenge to go back and forth in those spaces. I would say that it, it was masterfully done, but it's very tricky to do something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Well, very well done. And just in Korean Japanese history, troubled past, you know, I was ignorant to it. Korean people don't forget. I think that story is pretty much unknown to Westerners, isn't it? Yeah, I think uh, definitely unknown, you know, un unless if uh, you're into to, to history and, and East Asian history, you know, m most people from the West, I don't think, uh, are aware of, of the things, you know, of, of the things that used to happen during this time. Yeah, it was pretty cruel, you know, it was just, uh, it was an eye opener, it really was. Yeah, but, you know, I think um, that's the beauty of storytelling is, is, uh, you know, you get to, especially with a show like this, you get to, you know, in, in terms of perspective, be fair. And the, I think the, what the show does service uh, to history is, is uh, create three-dimensional characters, you know, where, where you get to, you know, see people from every side just be humans. You know, it's like uh, what our governments do, and that's beyond our control. But, but I think, you know, exploring... The intimacy and, and, and sort of the, the individual choices that people make is, uh, is, is what I think is important and, and uh, illuminating about this show. And Coconut, this, this series is pretty heavy, you know, and, uh, but that opening song, The Grassroots and the dancing in the credits, tell yeah. me how that came about because I, I can't skip past that. I watch it every time. Yeah, I mean, I think we, we had looked at um, some pitches of different intros and, you know, a lot of them you could imagine were uh, very dramatic or geographic and, um, but yeah, I mean, I don't, was that, I think Sue had always had that in mind or is that something? You yeah, no, 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 it wasn't me. No, no, yeah, no, yeah. It's, it's, it's Sue. So I think Sue uh, was always thinking of a different kind of soundtrack to it, something that felt poppy, you know, to kind of uh, offer relief and a, another kind of emotional energy uh, to the intro, knowing how heavy the, the, the series would be. So it, it was really like something that, um, really clicked with her this this you know kind of uh, creating this more dynamic uh opening credit sequence and finally today justin pachinko you know i've seen it in old james bond movies i how do you play it i've always been curious about that game because it looks like a passion for a lot of people yeah i mean you know it's it's uh in a lot of asian countries gambling is you know is illegal but but pachinko is a way to to kind of i guess skirt it a bit <laughs> <laughs> but uh it's fun i mean it's it's just like and i think it's addicting you know just it, even yeah. the the tactile nature of holding those silver balls you know because i love holding balls and <laughs> and uh you know i think it's just there's something tactile i think that that's very addictive 
<laughs> well, gentlemen, congratulations on a wonderful Thank series. You. I appreciate your time today and uh, let's talk again soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.